Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to learn another quick topic. Okay. So dynamic display of create case options in the create menu based on the condition. So this is a very simple use case. Okay. Uh, which we need it in almost each and every project. Okay. So let me explain you this use case in a detail. Okay. So here you can see that in this create in this screenshot we have a two case type home and home loan. So what we usually want is that let's say some set of user okay will just create loan or some set of users will just create home loan okay so you can do based on the set of users so if you do based on the set of users you can go with privilege or you can go with role or you can go with access group okay but let's say if you want to go for the each and every operator okay that five operators like these operators can do this uh, or work on this case type or can create this one this operator can do then you can go with skill so basically that the conditions you can define okay but you don't want to show these all options to each and every operator in your application okay so how we can restrict that so in in 7.x okay we used to use ui starting flows okay and where we, it, there we can give a privilege okay the privilege used to hide that options from the create menu but that is not available in 7.8.x okay because in 7.x we had that starting flow to any slice or case type but now it is start with the create flows okay directly in a.x so how we can achieve this one okay because still this is a, <coughs> a demanding kind of a business use case so i'll explain you how we can do that so let's let's start from let's go into the pega and see this one okay so first we will try to understand that how pega populates this options okay so i have already explored this one okay and pega populates these options from the our applications rule okay so from application you, in applications in case and data you can see that whatever the case type we have added here that will come okay so let's say if i remove loan and save it that loan will go away from this create menu option here and the same it we can see that from here as well we need to refresh okay but it will go away here it is refreshing quickly okay so now pega uses this information to use this information okay as i said i have already find out there is a data page called d underscore starting flows okay so this is the data page which is responsible to show this create menu okay in the portal okay so based on this one you can search and find it out that where this this uh, data page has been used so if most likely you will see that it has been used in that uh, navigations rule to show that one so you can see that in multiple navigations rule it has been used so you can you can uh, check that okay if i open this create case menu and show you quickly here so it has been used to show this one okay but the unfortunately pega have not given any extensions point here okay uh, it, it is always enabled and visibility is always always so how we can do that how we can hide these options right so still that's the question if i just show you okay that loan let's say if you want to go in a previous way so if i'll go here and open this create flow okay and then i'll try to add a privilege let's say if that is helping okay so in somewhere in process tab i think we have an options to add a, a privilege so let's see if i'll add this privilege okay i'm just adding a privilege test okay so i'll just create a privilege called test and obviously i'm not going to give any privilege to users so uh, so ideally this should not show this options this uh, this uh, uh this create case right so we did it for this class loan so ideally this option should hide but it will not happen okay so something it is complaining let me see where i did it okay so i did it in branch let me delete and do it in that one so ideally if you're in 7.x okay if you did if you did it like this then from that uh, that loan case type options will go away from the menu but it will not work in 8.x i'll show you okay so now we added that okay let me log off and login or let me try to create from here so it is still there but if i'll try that it maybe will get an error okay because we don't have that privilege okay but the user experience won't be good because still you are seeing that options to create that right so you can see that we are getting an option okay so this is not that the great user experience so what we really want is that simply hide it from here or hide it from there okay so let's see that how actually we can achieve it okay so to do this okay um 
I have find it out a extension point from the Pega itself. Okay, so as I mentioned that this is the uh, the data page which is responsible to populate that. So if I'll run and show you, okay. So as of now, I have a two case type. So if I'll run with my work pool, okay, we can see that, okay, I can run that uh, standalone as well. So just I'll pass my work pool and then run and show you. So let me go here, open this one and try to run the underscore starting flows so let's run this one so let's do that so if you see here we are getting two options and in the px results we are getting two okay home loan and then second one is that loan okay so this is how we are getting it okay and pega is sorting based on that uh, kind of h okay h is first before l so that is how it is sorting basically on the py level name now i have find out extension point in this activity where actually we can do that so if you read this data page pega is saying that they have given one activity okay here in the bottom that um, the order of the starting flow in the same order as how the case type are defined in the cases and data tab of the applications rule this calls an extension activity for the users to override the standard sorting behavior so pega have given for that sorting but basically we can use it okay also to hide or show okay so that is one option okay so if i'll go here we have this is the activity which we can use it okay and here we can try to filter it out so this is one option the second option is that you can override the source of this one okay this activity uh, here in place of um, act activity you can have a data transform and in that activity uh, for in that data transform first you can call this activity and after getting the result you can add the condition okay so this is one way okay and the second uh, the first way is that you can avoid uh, override that extension activity and second is create a data transform first call this activity okay so then you'll get that result and after getting the result you can you can add your condition okay but i'm going in a first approach where pega have given the extensions point okay so in this extension point i'll be adding some conditions to uh, to filter or the kind of a hide some case type okay so let's save as this one okay so obviously if you'll save as this activity so you can get some warning okay which you need to justify so here pega by default have given sort what i'll be doing here i'll be just adding the obj filter option okay so obj filter and this activity will be just modifying once okay because once we add the when rule in futures we can we need to whenever we are creating a new case type okay we need to keep adding or modifying that when rule I'll, I'll show that option so here okay so as i'm saying this activity py sort okay starting flow will call on ds starting d underscore starting flow okay and that has the px result so we'll simply in we'll give that primary in a list space of name primary okay and then result class is exactly our same class of data page rule of is a flow so let's keep that and then here we can create a when rule called show create option something like that whatever the name you want to give so create option so let me create that okay and then for now just return true true and save it so let's save this activity as well and let's uh, uh, trace and see that how many result we are getting now so we are getting two options okay so because both our wet condition is saying true true so we are getting it now let's return false from that when rule so one not equals to one just for testing and let's see how many we are getting so then we'll get to know that actually it is working so see now we are getting two okay because our both the conditions for both the result it went false now how we can add the condition so let's say as i mentioned right if you want to add a condition based on now you have a when rule so you can add any conditions okay uh, if you have a group of users okay then you can go with access group if you want to go with privilege you can go with privilege conditions okay i'll quickly show you based on the skills okay let's say that each and every user should have a skills to create this uh, loan or home loan okay so how we can do that okay so let's first enable this one and see that what result we are getting because we will be using that result okay to add our condition okay so for now i'll just run in such a way that we should get both the options so now we have the result and we can see that what all data we have available so we have we can see that 
class name is available okay and then py level is available so py level can change so let's say i just want to put a condition on class name that if the home loan is there then operator should have the create home loan skills okay if operator um, if you are going for loan okay let's say second case type okay so the class is loan then you should have a create loan case uh, skills and again i'm talking about this uh, skills okay but you can go with any type of conditions as i'm saying you can go with access group conditions you can go with uh, privilege conditions access all conditions anything because now you have a vendor rule the only thing which you need to take care is you need to write that rule in a combination okay uh, and you need to you may need to add the the conditions for each and every case type otherwise that the newly case type will not be showing okay i'll show you so let's say i'm adding a condition for one case type okay so let's use this one so py class name okay let's say just say this one py class name so dot py class name and the value okay i'll be giving this one let's say we are just adding this uh, this uh, default conditions only from here okay so i'll just copy this one so then it will just show the loan okay to show the other one you need to add the conditions for everything okay so that is what i'm saying the one thing is that you need to make sure that you should write that when in such a way that it should work for all case type okay so let's run now so we can see that only one is coming so now let's say in future like okay future we added another when rule okay uh, sorry another case type then you need to add the conditions for that one but obviously this one condition should, will not satisfy so we need to add one other condition okay and here we can check that let's say as, a, as i was talking about the skills right so we can uh, check that this operator has that skills or not to do that what i'll be using is is in page list is in page list so i'll be checking that operator has this skills or not so let's say create uh, create uh, loan okay create loan create loan or anything whatever the skills uh, you want to create a loan case you want to give and then uh, here uh, we need to compare with py skill name okay so that's the attribute and then here operator id dot py skills i'll show you which one i'm referring operator id dot py py skills so let's see if i have written correctly okay so i think py skills is not correct yeah so this is correct okay so it is in page list so we are looking for this one in this attribute okay and on this uh i think this is a page group property or page list i think the py skills is a page page list property so we're looking on that one so as of now i don't have that okay so we can say that one and two okay so now we can say let's run and see if we are getting so we are getting zero because for this one also the for for both condition is not getting satisfied you can see that for both it is coming false okay so let's add this create loan case okay skills and let's see if you're getting at least one so we'll do like this create open save and save it so now we have saved it if you see now our operator id page should have that skills operator id py skills and then we can see that create loan case so now if i'll run we can see that one options is coming so see one options is coming so if i'll launch my portal or maybe i need to log off and log in okay then we should see that that only one case type create see we are just seeing that loan right so we have add because we have added the condition for that one let me show you that the condition okay so we have added for this class let's say you want to do for home loan as well so you need to again add the uh, another condition so you can combine both in one x one line or you, whatever way you want to do so let's say three and then four we want to do so similar way we can do for home loan because it's not coming so we need to add that conditions as well okay and then is in page list let's say i just want to use the same uh, skills okay uh, for loan as well so i'll just put that one and three and then instead of home loan we'll say loan we'll say home loan i think that is our class yeah so that's the class and now here we can say that or we need to say three and four so this is how you need to combine your conditions now let's run and see that if you're getting two or not so still we're not getting two let me see why 
P oh sorry this is we need to here give the dot now we should get that and you can see in the tracer also that it is getting executed so see we are getting two and now if I'll close my uh, portal and open it so we can see both see loan and home loan so I think that's it let me quickly summarize again okay so basically in this class what we're trying to learn is how we can dynamically based on conditions we can show the create case options okay case type options Okay, in 7.x it was easy, just apply a privilege, okay, and then it was working, okay. but now a privilege or I think we had the options of when conditions as well, but now it's not that easy. So what we need to do is we need to modify the source of D underscore starting flow. So either you can update this data page, okay, and kind of a create a data transform and call this activity and do your condition or pega have given extension point for sorting, okay in this activity in the last step so that activity can be used and just add a obviously filter conditions and add a when condition and in that when conditions you can keep on adding so you don't need to modify activity each and every time whenever you're going creating a new case step just keep updating this this when rule and it will do the job for you so that's it for this session please do try and let me know if it is helping you that thank you thank you very much have a good day bye